and on to the last one. So now we have the copper, or the, 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 I'm getting confused. We have the uh, Slater UL3, this is a three man tent. Comes in at five pounds, so that's not too bad, you guys. Oh, look who it is, Mr. Cub. Mr. Cub, how you doing this afternoon, my man? All right, um, so a little bit heavier. That is the one downfall on this tent. Beyond that, I don't see any other issue with it. Um, breathability was great, livability is absolutely amazing. It's just a heavy tent. But uh, like I stated in another one of my videos, I'm a big believer in the better I sleep, the better I'm gonna hike that next day, the better I'm gonna, whatever I'm setting out to do that day, whether it's finish the climb to the top of a 14er or if it's go out and try to find some beautiful elk on the next ridge over. Um, and I need good rest and I need to come back to a comfortable living space. So it's worth it. And I used it this year. I did a, I think it was a three day trip, another three day trip, a few one, two day overnighter stuff. And then I forget another four day, I forget exactly. But uh, I was out there quite a bit with it and did some trips with the girlfriend as well, her fiance now. And uh, let's look at this guy. So you have a big vestibule on the front. You do have double entry on this tent as well. You have a smaller side entry right here and this completely opens up. Um, I absolutely love that. I like the fact that you can go in two ways, in and out two ways, because sometimes somebody wants to go out and you have to kind of climb over them or past them. This just makes it a lot more convenient on everybody. Um, in the back, great um, airflow. And this is a full fly, it's two body, you have a body in the fly. Um, it is a very simple setup as well. It's a single DAC system with one extra vestibule pole right here. So it's very easy. All these tents are easy to set up. I mean, I get it if you have a hard time the first time, but once you have it, it's intuitive, it's simple. Um, all of them have these nice DAC systems where you almost can't mess it up except for going the wrong way. There's no confusing poles, any of that. And a lot of them are color coded, etc. cetera. Um, so back to the amount of space in here, you guys. Easy pack storage there, and another pack, two bows and arrows. You can even put um, your bike squeezed under here if you had to. You could put a bunch of gear, like your cooler, everything if you're setting out. Maybe you're camping by a lake and you have a boat and you wanna store stuff tucked away so it doesn't look like there's just a mess and squirrels, whatever may be getting to it, bears. Um, then you also have the livability of it. This is a three man, you guys. Um, there's plenty of space in here. I could crawl in there, but I mean, even, even just in the vestibule right here, there's room above my head. There's room in there. I have a huge hat on. I got the sombrero right now, but a uh, lot of storage space and uh, just an overall great product. And to throw it in, I have the whatever glow thing, this uh, connection right there and uh, mountain glow, I think it's called. And uh, that's another great product. I think it's about 40 bucks from Big Agnes. It's a real easy light system. It's really light. It really works well. Um, so yeah, here's the Slater. And uh, beyond that, just please comment for any questions. I'll get right back to you. And uh, I hope this helps some people and choosing their next tent. Um, out of all of them, there is no favorite, you guys. They're all great tents. They really are. And the Slater, nothing else said about it. Just an amazing tent. And I've used it a lot this year already. Um, oh, don't put clothes on top of your tent after a torrential downpour, especially, I think it was like a brand new shirt that he had bought and it just stained right into the tent. So there's a do not. What a lazy animal. Cubby. Hey, hey, hey. good boy. Alrighty guys. Well, there she is. Hope this helps somebody. And, um, I am going to, if I didn't say it in the other videos, put a quick cut on size of the tents once I have them all bundled up and in the packs together. But there you go. Hope that helps.